We're here today to show you why Qmax is the best penetrating oil out there on the market today. What we've got is we've got three empty jars here, bottle of water. We're going to fill each one of these jars up half full of water. Then we're going to spray each one of these products into the water showing how penetrating oil gets to the point of attack. Penetrating oil is being used because there's rust. There's moisture there because rust has, has set in. Uh, long periods of moisture. So how to get there is you're going to have to use the aerosol of the can to push the oil through the water because oil floats on water. We all know that oil floats on water. So that's what we're going to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start with um, our Qmax here. We got a handy little straw. So you flip that thing over, flip it up here, and then you spray that in here. So you see the aerosol is pushing the penetrating oil to the bottom, to the point of attack where you have rust. Therefore, it's getting down right where you need it to go. So you squirt that in there. And as expected, what's happening is the oil is floating to the top. But the aerosol pushed it down into the bottom and then the oil naturally will float to the top. Now as we go through this here, uh, in the next few seconds you're actually going to see the difference between Qmax and our competitors with that. So let's go ahead and uh, go to the uh, WD-40 here. Get our aerosol up here, so spraying down in there. You can see even with the aerosol, you're not penetrating down. WD-40 doesn't have enough pressure behind the aerosol to actually get anywhere. And it's shooting as a fan because, like everybody else, we lost our red straw because it's not connected to the can. Red straw is gone. So now what we're doing is we're spraying this and it's like a big fan. We don't have any pressure behind it. And, of course, right there you can already see all the oil just floating on top of the water. Right there, WD-40, not getting to the point of attack, not getting down there, just floating on top of the water and not doing what we want it to do. You can already see the Qmax is, is floating on top, but it's also heavy enough that it's starting to cut through and drip down to the point of attack. So your oil is actually floating to the bottom of the can. So PB Blaster, everybody loves PB Blaster. It's got a lot of aerosol behind it. Uh, works great, you know, every, everybody loves PB Blaster. So let's shoot this down in here. Yep, we got all kinds of aerosol. We got all kinds of pressure putting it down in there. Just keep pushing it down in there. It's getting down there to the point of attack, but it's floating right back up on top. And so it's only interacting with the rust for a very short half of a second, millisecond of a time, and then floating right back up to the top. Now you'll see... Our Qmax is already starting to separate and go down in there. We can sit here all day and this PB Blaster and WD-40 are going to continue to float. We can leave it here for four days and they're never going to be heavier than the water. Never going to end up down here where we actually have the rust. That's the beauty of Qmax. Spray it on, walk away, come back five, ten minutes later and it, that oil is down there directly on the rust and on the rusty bolt that you're trying to loosen up. Qmax, heavier than water defies the logic. Oil does not always float on water. This is what you need. Cut through that moisture. Get right to the point of attack. Free those rusty bolts up. Thank you for your time.